it's a good one today. Oh, it's a good one today. Oh, <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got so his good. ass now. I got his ass now. You ready, bitch? Bitch, I'm ready. <laughs> Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. And today we are finally taking a look at the Adidas Pro Bounce Madness 2019 versus the Adidas Pro Bounce 2018. Let's get it. Yeah. First and foremost, massive shout out to Proderick Basketball for sending both of these through. If you want your pair of either the 2018s or the 2019s, head over to the description box below, click the link and they will take care of you. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, hit that thumbs up and show your support. Comment down below what your pick is between the 2019 and the 2018. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. For many years now, the basketball sneaker industry has been dominated by the swoosh. However, in recent years, Adidas has proven to be one of the heavyweight contenders in the industry, and the Adidas Pro Bounce 2018, which was our best shoe of the year, has led the way for them. Facts. Today, we're talking about not just the Adidas 2018, but also its successor, the Adidas Pro Bounce 2019 Madness. Well-deserved name. Well-deserved. Now, I'm gonna switch these shoes every now and then. I know you guys saw this shoe in the thumbnail, but just so you guys are aware that we're doing the high and low versus the high and low. Timmy doesn't have the low on him right now, but you guys get, get the picture. picture. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So starting out light, starting with our aesthetics, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough, bro. It's real, real tough. Colorways can be deceiving as well. They can be. But Flo, how you feel about them? The way I feel, Timmy, is that the highs, okay. 2019 versus 18, the highs look better in the 2019s. Okay, okay. Whereas the lows in the 2018s look better than the lows in the 2019s. So we've achieved nothing. So we have achieved nothing, Timmy. Right, there was no need for that whatsoever. Yes. We, we gained no ground with that. Yep. Because we still need to give a point to one of these shoes. We are back in ground zero. Um, I might go with 2018. Yeah. I'm messing with them. Yeah. Because the lows do look great. They do. The highs, I think, look mean. I said it in the performance review, I said it a few times. They just look like, you know, yeah. like, let's go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm after groovy. Even though the 2019s also look cold. They do. I think the point has to go to 2018. Yeah, let's, 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 let's get started. Yeah, let's, let's go. Next up, talking about the traction. Over here in the 2018s, what we have is the water ripple traction pattern. And you guys know, that this traction pattern worked like an absolute charm. X. Not only was this traction pattern amazing, it also ended up on the top tractions it of did. 2018. So yeah, the traction here was crazy. Over on this side in the Pro Bounce Madness, don't fix it if it ain't broke herringbone. It's in the name. Yep. It did the job that we've always expected herringbone to do, just on another level. We've said it in a few performance reviews already, this might be the best rendition of Herringbone we've ever put on. Yeah. I lie? Yeah. I say we. I know it's your side and everything, but these were your words. I know. Yeah? Yeah. This Herringbone goes crazy. Wiping and dust, not much of an issue. Yes, of course, dust gets picked up on dusty courts, but wiping it off is no issue. This is that's the, the great things about Herringbone. Yeah. I think I've said it enough. Yeah. I think it's a point for the Madness 2019. Yeah, straight away. Come on. Now, next up, talking about the cushioning. Yep. And we know what you guys are thinking. How are you going to compare the exact same thing? Well, we are. Now, over on this side, court fill, response, impact protection, fine-tuned bounce cushioning. Yep. Now, one of the best renditions of it we felt, it just felt amazing on the foot, just felt fantastic. A lot much more, I can say. Anything you want in a, in a cushioning system, you get. And that's what I'm going to say about that. And everything that you have there, you have the exact same thing here. It feels exactly the same. Yep. Literally exactly the same. Yeah, let's be honest. So this is a super tough one. But I think the point has to go to 2018. Why though? Because it's the big bro to me, all right? 
It was here first. Okay. It did this thing first. Okay. Yeah, we're right, not saying uh, that this one's better than this one. True. But this one gets the point because we can't have a tie. We can't have a tie. We don't do ties on this side. But. So it's the big bro. The point goes to 2018. Okay. Safe. Next up, talking about materials. Over here in the 2018, we have this overall mesh construction, which is backed up by Adidas's amazing forged fiber. And then the Geofit anchor collar is made out of neoprene. I mean, the materials here were incredible, Tim. Incredible. What we have here is Adidas's best technology. Arguably, Adidas's best technology it's up there. It's up there. materials, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I'm with it. It's lightweight, it's durable. I mean, it's durable to an extent. As, it, as, as durable as it can be. As durable as it can be. Yeah. But it's lightweight. The breaking time is zero. And we love that here at Pure Kids. Relax. Any shoe that you can take out the box and just hoop straight away yeah. without having to worry about it hurting your foot, yeah. that's a straight win. 100%. So yeah. Similar on this side. On the Pro Balance Madness 2019, we don't have any forged fiber. Okay. We just have that mesh construction throughout. Flexible, breathable, lightweight. It ticks all those boxes every time you hear the word mesh. Yeah. Now what they've done, I don't know if it still counts as material, but I'll talk about it a little now. Instead of forged fiber, we've got a TPU barrier, mm -hmm. which kind of does the same thing forged fiber did, helps with support, which we'll talk about a little later. Right. Then we have the neoprene hit in the ankle coverage, yep. which is also really nice. And even a hint of suede on the inner as well, yep. which actually helps with that support as well. All the materials came together so well, felt lovely. Breaking time was at, I would say zero as well. Minimal. Minimal, not zero. Uh, minimal, 0 0.1. 0 0.1. 0 .1. Okay. No, 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 I can back that. I can back that. I can back that. Yeah. And I think for that reason, point goes to 2018. Timmy, if memory serves me correctly, yep. um, in the 2019 performance review, you yep. were upset about something. You were upset ah. that Adidas took a step back, right? No, no, no. Or is that, am I making this up? No, I'm going to make this up. No. If yeah. they want to, they can refer back to this performance review exactly that. I am, and still am, upset that Forge Fiber is gone. Replaced by. TPU barrier, but 45 was very, very buff. Very, very buff. Up next, talking about the material. We just said that. We said materials. We did that. We it's had done. that episode. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, talking about the fit. Now, here in the Madness 2019s, they fit great. They do. They were regular, true to size. I wouldn't say they're narrow, I wouldn't say they're wide. A great fitting shoe throughout. The ankle coverage as well also added to that. What I will say is that the lacing system is basic, but still added a great fit. Yeah. So in terms of the overall kind of fitting of the shoe, just felt really, really nice. I can't really complain. No real frills, just straight business. And we're not mad at that. Never, never mad at that. Over here we have thrills, Timmy. Okay, yeah. And then experience. What we have is this incredible lacing system along with the GeoFit technology. Okay, when you lace the shoe up, right? When you lace the shoe up from the bottom to the top, what you have is each part of the shoe conforming to your foot yeah, separately. No, no. I mean, it just felt... I remember, yeah. It was, it was crazy. I'm yeah. still speechless to this day. Even now, this is crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, really I mean, good. without talking too much, you guys can guess it already, the point goes to the 2018. I don't remember experiencing anything when I laced these up. I didn't experience nothing. I've laced up. Which is not a bad thing. I've shoes before, but you know, it's not really much going on in this. I still fit nice, but I, I want an experience. I want an experience. I want an experience. I want an experience. Next up, talking about the support. Now here in the 2018s, we have this double outrigger, mm -hmm. which helped with lateral support, which was really, really nice. We also have the overall fit of the shoe that comes from the experience lacing system in addition to the GeoFit technology. Oh, yeah. And then we have the internal TPU heel counter. I mean, everything just comes together to give you an incredible support system. Hear that. The mesh construction that's also backed up with that forged fiber, it all comes together just to give you a madness of a support system. Ooh, I keep saying madness because- There was no need for that. What kind of punch was that? Ah, all right, all right, say no more, say no more, say no more, say no more. On this side, yeah. Pro Bounce Madness 2019, we have user suspect as well. Yeah. We've got our outrigger. No, it's not double, but it's a good outrigger, yeah? It's doing its job. It's out here, getting yeah. it in, yeah? A lovely stuff. We also have the overall lockdown of the shoe. The mesh construction does its thing. It's breathable, flexible, lightweight. I said it earlier. Yes, the lacing system is a little bit more basic, but it's more to the point. You get me? Basic. It's to the point. Chill. It's to the point. It's business, yeah? No frills. Let's get to it. Get to this money, yeah. 
Angle coverage wise, we're talking a padded mesh construction with the neoprene as well. So we're getting yeah. ankle coverage and it's comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember him saying comfortable on that side. <laughs> I'm just saying. Comfortable. Com okay, that's not how this works. It's my time, okay? <laughs> God damn it. Comfortable ankle coverage as well, an internal TPU heel counter, and this TPU barrier, which I believe Flo and that 2018 do not have. Do not have. Now, I will say this. They do have the Forge Fiber. Yep. Which did its thing. Yep. However, I've also got another ace up my sleeve. A little, little, little ace up my sleeve. I said the TPU barrier, but then bow! A little bit of suede in there as well. Helps with the support from the inside from both sides. You've got some force fiber in there too, but the suede externally, incredible stuff. I mean, if you're talking about things that we have that you don't have, oh, I didn't even talk about this midfoot shank to me. We've got one too though. But I don't want my foot to twist. Yeah, neither, neither do I. I've got one too, you can't see mine. Mine's internal, yours external. Yeah, but sometimes you want to see the technology don't need to, to see feel it. like it works. Don't need to see it. Because we both know that support sometimes is more psychological than it is physical. That's a whole other conversation. That's not what we're talking about right now. We're right. talking about which shoe has better support. Tell them, Flo. The point goes to 2019. All right, then. Yeah, it does. All right. It does. That TPU barrier? Incredible stuff. Yeah, it, it does the job still. Right. Last and most certainly not least, this is my favorite category. As always. The price, a.k.a. better value for your money. Over here, the 2018 high is priced at £100, which is exactly the same price as the high All right. over there. And then the low is priced at £90, which is exactly the same price as the low over there. Which is better value for your money? Good question. I mean, it's tough, Timmy. It's very tough. It's so tough. When we're talking performance-wise, they pretty much perform exactly the same. If we're being honest, yeah. No, Even right. though the points are tending towards my direction, they as are, they right, should. Chill. But they perform pretty much exactly the same. Yep. I mean, I guess you could say that they took a little, little bit of a step back by removing forged fiber. In some ways. But then again, they improved the support. So it's like, what do you want? I think it's another big homie, bro. I'm it's playing, another one. It's another big homie card. I'm but pull up, oh, yeah. I can't really fight that, that's a trump still. Yeah. Someone has to get the point. And the point has to go to the big homie, AKA the OG. So yeah, thank you very much. I mean, you know, I have to agree. Cause if we're looking at scores right now, yeah, it's leaning that way. And if we're looking at pricing right now, yeah. as we record this thing. Oh yeah. It's a mad thing. It's a mad thing. It's a mad Both thing. these shoes are actually on sale right Couple now. Couple colorways, yeah. However, this shoe is like 60 pounds right now. 60, 70 pounds, every, in ridiculous. all colorways. Pretty much most places with this one being out now. Yep. Yes, you can catch a couple colorways in this on sale right now if you look a little harder, but you will find that shoe in an array of sizes and colorways. Hit the link in the description. Yeah. Hit the link in the description. So, all right, guys, looking at the scores, the Adidas Pro Bounce 2018 is the winner at 5-2. Now, let's be honest. It wasn't a 5-2 type of comparison. I mean, it was, Timmy. I get what he means. However, every point was close. These are basically the same shoe. It is no easy feat to improve on greatness, yeah, right? It's tough. Them man at Adidas did a mad thing, did a madness. I'll say that's exactly what they did. They did a madness. They already dropped an incredible shoe yep. in uh, materials, traction, support, and then they had to approve on a couple of things. They did when we're talking support, when they're talking traction. Materials are still amazing on that side. Fit was amazing on that side. The experience coming from that side, it's hard. It's tough. So that man deserve all the accolades because they've released back-to-back -back seasons of shoes right now. We're highly anticipating the third, if there will be, should be. There should be. Should be pro, there had better be in there fact. There better be. Pro Bounce 2020, we're waiting. There had better be, okay? And there should be another madness really should be and that's it from us like we mentioned before and many times throughout this video if you want either of these shoes head over to the description box below click the link to the per direct website and they will take care of you but before you do that don't forget to like comment and subscribe like this video and show your support hit that thumbs up button we really really appreciate it of course comment down below which one you prefer if it's the 2018 model or the 2019 model and how excited or what you're looking for if and when there is a 2020 model as well. And lastly, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video because you're not gonna wanna miss 
what Pure Kicks has to say about kicks. So, so right guys, there you have it. This is the Adidas Pro Bounce Madness 2019. It's a mouthful to me. I know, that's words. This is the Adidas Pro Bounce 2018. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.